Hi, in this video I will show you how to enable and use Booking add-on. Booking is paid add-on and can be purchased on our website. So open our website wpdirectorykit.com, go to plugins and you will found Booking add-on here. Booking add-on also require membership add-on. So best deal is if you get uh, this subscription here. Then you get one year all the plugins, all uh, updates and support. After you buy this uh, plugin, you can you have you have two options how to install it. First, if you install on clean WordPress installation, then use theme provided in this paid package. Not the free one, which you can download on the WordPress.org, but uh, the paid one. Because this way you will have all configured and demo content will be auto-installed with everything needed. But if you anyway use free version and then you want to upgrade and install booking and membership, you can also do that. So I will show you this more complicated way. Here I installed our free next property team and uh, with this demo content and basic things. So first I will go to our dashboard, plugins, add new. And now I need to choose my plugin. Uh, you can download it from the our provider. You get to the email all the details. Or inside uh, this uh, team version, you will found here is next property team. So here it is, and here you have add-ons. You can found all our add-ons here. So in this case, you will need uh, this membership and booking. So you can uh, put these two plugins out of the archive, to the desktop, for example, and uh, now I will go to upload plugin and first how we also mentioned here in the our documentation. So first this plugin required membership add-on. So I will install it now here. You can browse or just direct and drop it here. Install now. Activate plugin. You receive license key to your email. So you can put license key here. You see this red notice. Put it here and apply activate. After you done this, you can go to our membership part and here you will found import demo data. I will click here and import this demo data. Now membership add-on is installed and on the home page you will find this dashboard icon and this icon will bring you to our front-end dashboard. After that if you follow documentation, you need to install booking add-on. So again, go to plugins, add new, upload. Uh, I will now choose booking. I just like and draw, but you can browse and select it and then click install now. Let's activate plugin. 
usually uh, of course you need also enter license key here for the booking also of course if you install this booking you also need to add some elements to the listing preview usually these elements are already there but if not in your case you can put it and i will show you how now i'll found some property for rent let's say kingston house Uh, now edit this with Elementor and on docs you see you will need some you will need these, these two elements so you can just put here booking like in the search and you will find these two elements here I have it here but you can also drag and drop it if you don't have important part is to have this uh, contact form here also It's also describe it here. Okay, now I have everything here and I will go to the dashboard back again. In dashboard, I will add calendar now for this listing. So add calendar. Kingston Here you have options like uh, if you want to enable hour booking, if you want to activate this uh, book, this calendar, of course, you want to activate. Then you have some if you want to enable only for login users. If you want to enable public export URL, URL like to use for if you want to import to like Google Calendar or similar then if you want to disable approvement if you want to disable guest number you can enter currency code here I will put US dollars then you have minimal hours if you want change over day that's when guests coming and uh, going out how many guests limits and if you want to enable children's or pits and wire transfer payment information so my test payment info here okay I will now save these changes and uh, after that if you follow documentation you need to add availability prices let's go to availability prices at select Kingston house here date from I will pick from today until let's say December activated price per day is required so I will put 100 I want to say also you can so owner or agency can add this from their own dashboard for example from here so you can also put like uh, these calendars at calendar you see that so it's basically similar thing related to configuration you will found all details in settings or edit calendar so here you have some of configuration like single calendar box that's on front end search then you have enable hours for booking search Then you can enable cron job. That's uh, used for calendar import, as say here. Calendar import, yeah. So you have here e e import and export. 
features. Then you can enable WooCommerce for payments. Uh, yes, so if you want to enable online payments, you need to have WooCommerce installed. Why we chose WooCommerce? Because uh, WooCommerce is supported by almost any payment gateway today. And physically, technically, we are not able to implement uh, support for every single payment gateway. This will be simply too much of work. Then time for payment. So how much time you will give client to pay? Otherwise, a reservation will be cancelled. Then you have defined max guests in the in the form for reservation. And uh, you can also disable booking by default. This is feature for related to membership subscription. If you want to make like subscription for to enable uh, booking. Um, if you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to contact us via support form and we will do our best to help you. <laughs> have a great day.